हेलो चिल्ड्रेन सायरा हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू आर एन्जॉइंग द ऑनलाइन लेसन्स गोइंग ऑन येस चिल्ड्रेन एम आय करेक्ट येस ना टुडे आय एम गोइंग टू टीच यू इंग्लिश इन इंग्लिश आय एम गोइंग टू टीच यू लेसन नंबर वन पीटर एंटर्स द गार्डन children in part 1 we have learned about new words and how to frame sentences in lesson number 1 peter enters the garden in part 2 video we have learned the lesson thoroughly children i hope you have learned the lesson thoroughly now today children in the third part of our session we will discuss and write questions and answers of lesson number 1 peter enters the garden children i want you to be ready with your pencil and book i hope you are ready with your pencil and book so that we will discuss and you will write down the questions and answers of the lesson Before I start with the discussion I would like to remind you about the lesson in short This lesson is about a rabbit named Peter Peter rabbit was specifically told by his mother not to go into Mr McGregor's garden but he did not listen to his mother he deliberately disobeyed her and ultimately suffered the consequences now the theme of the story is there is always a consequence to a bad behavior understood children now now what is the moral of the lesson the moral of the lesson is we should always listen to our parents repeat children we should always listen to our parents if we land up in trouble we should never give up repeat children if we land up in trouble we should never give up in fact we must show our courage and try to overcome the difficult situation what we must do children we must show our courage and try to overcome the difficult situation now children let us discuss fill in the blanks number 1 peter's siblings were flopsy mopsy and cotton tail repeat children peter's siblings were flopsy mopsy and cotton tail next their father ended up in a pie their father ended up in a pie Now next number 3 Peter was a naughty rabbit How was Peter Peter was a naughty rabbit
Number four. Peter lost one shoe among cabbages and the other among potatoes. Number four. Peter lost one shoe among cabbages and the other among potatoes. Next. Fifth one. While running, Peter got caught in a net. Fifth one. While running, Peter got caught in a net. Now, question number 2. A. Give the antonyms of. Now children, what do you mean by antonyms? Antonyms means opposites. Give the opposites of. Number 1. Old. What is the opposite of old? New. The opposite of old is new. Number two, straight. What is the opposite of straight children? The opposite of straight is crooked. The opposite of straight is crooked. Number three, under. The opposite of the word under is above. The opposite of the word under is above. Four, back. The antonym of the word back is front. The opposite of the word back is front. Next. Number five. Top. Now children, what is the opposite of top? The answer is bottom. Top. Bottom. Number six. Fast. It's very easy children. The opposite of fast is slow. The opposite of the word fast is slow. Next, seventh one. After. The answer is before. Number seven, after. The opposite of the word after is before. Next. Eighth one. Least. The opposite is most. Number eight. Least. The opposite of least is most. I hope children you have understood. Now we will move ahead. Question number 2. B. 
give the past tense of. Number one, go. The answer is, what is the past tense of go? Went. Right. Correct. Yes. The past tense of go is went. Next, number two. Buy. The past tense of buy is bought. Number two, buy. The past tense of buy is bought. Number three, gather. The past tense of gather is gathered. Number three, gather. The past tense of gather is gathered. Number four, wriggle. The past tense of wriggle is wriggled. Number four, wriggle. The past tense of wriggle is Wriggled. Next, number five. Catch. The past tense of catch is caught. Number five. Catch. The past tense of catch is caught. Number six, beg. The past tense of beg is begged. Number seven, rush. The past tense of rush is rushed. Number seven, rush. The past tense of rush is rushed. Number eight, plan. The past tense of plan is plant. Number eight, plan. The past tense of plan is plant. Children, now let us discuss who said to whom. Question number three. Who said to whom? The first question. You may go into the fields. Children, who said this? You may go into the fields. Yes. Correct. Mrs. Rabbit said to her children. The answer is Mrs. Rabbit said to her children. Now next question. Question number two. Stop thief. Children, who said this to whom? Stop thief. Yes, correct. Mr. McGregor said to Peter. Mr. McGregor said to Peter. I hope you have understood. Now children, next question. Question number four. Answer the following questions. Question number one. Why did Mrs. Rabbit tell her four children not to go to Mr. McGregor's garden? 
children i will repeat the question again why did mrs rabbit tell her four children not to go to mr magragar's garden the answer is mrs rabbit told her four children not to go to mr magragar's garden as their father had an accident there he was put in a pie by mrs magragar children i will repeat the answer again mrs rabbit told her four children not to go to mr magragar's garden as their father had an accident there he was put in a pie by mrs magragar children understood the first question yes now we will move on to second question now children next question question number 2 where did flopsy mopsy and cotton tail go i'll repeat the question again where did flopsy mopsy and cotton tail go the answer is flopsy mopsy and cotton tail went down the lane to gather blackberries the answer is flopsy mopsy and cotton tail went down the lane to gather blackberries next question question number 3 why did peter not go with his siblings let me repeat the question again children why did peter not go with his siblings the answer is peter did not go with his siblings as he wanted to go to mr magragar's garden children i'll repeat the answer again peter did not go with his siblings as he wanted to go to mr magragar's garden now next question question number 4 why did mr magragar call peter a thief i'll repeat the question again why did mr magragar call peter a thief children why he must have called peter a thief let us know the answer mr magragar called peter a thief because he was eating vegetables from mr magragar's garden without his permission let me repeat the answer again mr magragar called peter a thief because he was eating vegetables from mr magragar's garden without his permission is it a good habit children do we have to touch anybody's thing without their permission no we should take permission and then only we can touch others things right now next question question number 5 what did mr magragar do when he saw peter near the cucumber frame question number 5 what did mr magragar do when he saw peter near the cucumber frame the answer is on seeing peter 
near the cucumber frame mr magregor started running after peter waving a rake and calling out stop thief and repeat the answer again on seeing peter near the cucumber frame mr magregor started running after peter waving a rake and calling out stop thief now next question question number 6 when peter got caught in the net who went up to him what did they do let me repeat the question again when peter got caught in the net who went up to him what did they do the answer is some friendly sparrows went up to peter when he got caught in the net in excitement and begged him to save himself answer is some friendly sparrows went up to peter when he got caught in the net in excitement and begged him to save himself next question question number 7 where did peter hide in the tool shed let me repeat the question where did peter hide in the tool shed peter hid in a watering can in the tool shed peter hid in a watering can in the tool shed question number 8 who did peter ask for directions to the gate question number 8 who did peter ask for directions to the gate the answer is peter asked for directions to the gate from an old mouse let me repeat the answer children peter asked for directions to the gate from an old mouse next question now next question question number 9 how did peter find his way to the gate let me repeat the question how did peter find his way to the gate the answer is peter found his way to the gate when he climbed on the wheelbarrow to see what mr magregor was doing he saw mr magregor sitting with his back turned towards the gate i'll repeat the answer children peter found his way to the gate when he climbed on the wheelbarrow to see what mr magregor was doing he saw mr magregor sitting with his back turned towards the gate children i hope you have understood i want all of you to write all the questions and answers in your notebook now children let us do an activity the activity is related to grammar you have to write c for countable nouns and u for uncountable nouns children we have already learned what are countable nouns and what are uncountable nouns the things which we can count are known as countable nouns 
and the things which we cannot count they are known as uncountable nouns here two have already done for you number 1 card now card children card is a countable noun so you have to write c next boat now what is boat children whether it is a countable noun or uncountable noun it is a countable noun so what you will write here c correct now next money money is an uncountable noun so you will write u next tree now what is tree tree is a countable noun so what you will write here c correct next furniture furniture is an uncountable noun so what you will write here children u next bat what is bat countable noun or uncountable noun countable noun so what you will write again you will write c for countable noun next book book is also a countable noun you can count book so what you will write c right children yes now next number 8 bottle bottle is a countable noun so what you will write here c correct next number 9 wall what is wall children wall is a countable noun or uncountable noun it is a countable noun so we will write c correct next garden children do you like to play in the garden yes so you can count garden so what is garden it is a countable noun so what you will write here c next advice advice is an uncountable noun so what you will write u for uncountable noun next news now what is news news is an uncountable noun so what you will write u window can you count window yes so what you will write c correct c for countable noun last information information is an uncountable noun so you will write u for uncountable noun correct children understood